tastes so good to drink chai at this time or to drink tea so I'm out of goodies for that I always like to have a cup of tea me and my husband with something on the side either rask, mitai, cookies, something so I'm out on both things almost so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm making some mitai and I'm gonna put it all here so it, the sugar can drip down because I don't like the big big lots of sugar that gets um, stuck to it and I'm gonna dip some in this sugar right here um, just some of it just so it looks nice and fancy and this bowl right here is for some namak that I'm gonna share with you guys so I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys so my joss is right here I'm gonna let it just cool down for just a few minutes and then I'm gonna get the mitai and I'm gonna start dipping it in there and then some of it I'll dip into the sugar. So here's my mitai all done. Some of it's actually too much done or overdone. So I'm just gonna get it. I'm gonna dip it in like this. I'm gonna do a few at a time. I'm just going to mix it all up like this. Let it in there just for a few seconds. And then time for it to come out. And then it's time for it to come out and go straight on here. Maybe that's better. If you guys want to try this recipe, I'm going to link it down below. Don't forget to give it a try because it is so, so good, guys. You guys must try it out if you're a chai or a tea lover like me. And if you guys love to have something with your chai, especially mazigar time. Okay, same thing with this. And in the sheet, I just put a pinch of food coloring because I want that real, real yellow, orange color. So guys, I'm not done yet. Kind of made a big mess with this one. And the sheet kind of got too thick, so I added more water. And I'm going to go ahead and let that boil. But yeah, look at this. Doesn't this look good? I hope it tastes that good. And this is why I do this, because it's all supposed to drip down. And instead of getting like big chunks down at the bottom. So our khashta is khashta khashta all done ready to go into my little boxes for tea time. So I hope you guys really do enjoy these and I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you have any questions with the recipe, don't forget to ask me, let me know, leave them in the comments down below the comments. And you just have to be really, really precise, take your time and be really precise with the, um, with the method and the ingredients. But trust me, all the work is worth the weight and the patience that you use for this recipe. So...
So guys, here's what you're gonna need for the namakpare. I have some all-purpose flour right here, which is meda. I have some zita and ajwain seeds. I have some oil, half a cup, and the zita kind of fell in there. And I have some water, normal water that you would use like for kneading dough. So what we're gonna do is I've added salt in there. That's what we're gonna need as well. So I've already added my salt. Now crush the ajwain seeds and the zita between your palm so it can, um, you know, release that delicious, nice aroma that Ajran has. Mix it all up like this with the salt. Like this. And this is about four cups of flour that I have here. Meda, you can sift it out as well, which would be better. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our oil. And we're gonna add all that in. You can also use ghee or dalta, the kind that we used to use in Pakistan. And what you do is you just mix everything up like this with your clean, washed hands. Just mix, mix, mix. And my husband loves these with tea. It's like a nice, salty, savory um, kind of like chips <laughs> that we desis eat with chai. So just get your two hands rubbed in between, making sure all the oil gets nicely um, mixed through like this. And I have my oil going. I've heated up some oil on the side. And while we're doing this, and now using your water, you don't have to use much. Like you're not gonna need a lot, probably like maybe a cup. Mix everything up good. So just mix it all up like this. Once you've mixed it up good like this, then we're gonna just let it sit for a few minutes and we're gonna take out our rolling pin. If you have any additional oil in the cup, just take it out right now. I have my oil heating up here and I just made some metai, so that's the oil I'm using. It was new oil, but it just got a little used up with the metai, but I would recommend you guys to use fresh, hot, new oil. So this is what the arta or the order should look like. Just push down like this and knead it up. If you have to add a few drops of oil, add it in. So guys, just got done with the last batch and Alhamdulillah, they did come out fairly good. I hope that you guys will enjoy this recipe. 
so crunchy, yummy, and perfect with a big mug of chai. So I'm done with these. I'll let them cool off and then I'll go ahead and put them like in a container for chai or in a Ziploc bag. And now I have these frozen samosas that I had laying in the freezer. So this bag just had a few, so I'm gonna fry these for my son because he's having a fit with me right now. And I'm just gonna fry it in the same oil. So now, while the samosas are frying, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the dishes. A big mess, but once you make these on one day, then you're like berama or you're free for so many days. In case you have an unexpected guest over, friends and family. Samosas, I just want to give to you guys. I always tell my customers as well is when you have frozen samosas, always put them in on a very low flame, unlike what I did right now because it's frozen from the inside, the potato filling I have in this. And if you put them on a high flame, then you get a cooked samosa from the outside and you have um, fetcha or raw samosa filling inside. So always put the flame very, very low. Now look at mine, I shut it off because the oil was so high. So just let it cook gently from inside out and then you can make your um, flame higher once you know that they've cooked a good you know, time from the inside. And guys, time for tea. I hope that you guys did enjoy this little vlog or my first vlog video inshallah I'll be sharing lots more with you guys do give this recipe a try I'll leave the link for these delicious samosas down below don't forget to give the namakbari a try I have the recipe for my bubbly tea as well and I'll leave the link down below for that and the mitai guys so thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for my next vlog where I show um, lots of back to school and getting ready kids lunches what they wear and everything else so stay tuned don't forget to like and share my videos leave a comment let me know what you guys thought about my first vlog video and let me know if you guys want me to share more inshallah take care and talk to you guys in the next one Allah is.